Well, what's up guys, Dick to FM here, and I'm here on FM Scout. It's been a while, if you've been on the channel, FM Scout channel for a while, you will know that I've done videos here before. But um, yeah, I'm going to be sharing out some of the Tactic Tuesday videos with Aaron, aka Full Time FM. Um, so this is, I think this is the third edition, or third episode as you may call it. Um, and looking through the comments on the last video, I gathered that a lot of you guys wanted a Liverpool tactic. So I've, I've come up with one, um, and as Aaron does in his videos, I'm going to show you the philosophies that the board which I wish us to fulfil. So you can see they want us to play possession football, first team youngster signing, so really that's not what we're going to be doing because we're more into the tactical side and not sign-ins that is more of a team guide thing which we've also got a series on uh, we've already had one episode done for Swansea so hopefully there will be more of them for you guys and then we've got give you for chance so again that's not really what we're going to be showing in these kind of videos but still it just shows you guys but um, as Aaron says as well um, with possession football um, obviously if you don't perform too well and you finish like sixth because you've played possession football you can see that there's a confidence bar and if you're playing possession football that might just about save you your job but really with these tactics we don't aim to try and get you sacked we try to aim to get you to do as well as we can so hopefully that doesn't happen and yeah you can see here um, I'm going to talk you actually through the players that we've picked in the first team um, so yeah we've got Mignolet who is an okay keeper you can see he's getting quite old and to be honest that's one of the positions which will need to be strengthened most likely um, potential people that could replace him are like Bernard Leno but again that's not what we're going to be doing in these type of videos but Mignolet is of course the Liverpool keeper and the best one at the club so then they've got Klein who can play at left uh, right back even um, again he's pretty young and he's pretty decent as well so you got a decent right back there who's still got time to develop. The next player, again, is pretty old, but you could probably still get another year or two out of him, Martin Skirtle. Um, again, as I said about two seconds ago, he's getting old, but as I say, I reckon you could still get another season or two out of him, but it would be worth some new centre-back. But you have also got Mabadou Sacco, who is a good player, not too old, not too young either, 25 in the middle, probably in the prime of his career right now. So, yeah, uh, I reckon you can get a good six, five, six seasons out of him. Um, so, yeah, Moreno, a young player as well. You can see all these players are pretty decent. It's just some of them are past the prime of their career. Moreno is probably not even in the prime of his career yet, though, only being 22. And I reckon in a season or two, you'll probably get the best out of him. Uh, because as I say, he's a bit, he's, he's not that young, but he's not that old, and he he's probably hasn't reached prime yet. Um, Henderson and Alan, well, Alan for me was a bit of a weird one, but to be honest, he's probably the best player for that position, unless you want to play Lucas. So yeah, then we've got Sturridge, always injured, Henderson also injured. We've got Firmino, Coutinho and Benteke. So, what you guys are here for anyway is to see the tactic, and you can see I've come up with a 4 2 3 1. Uh, so, as you know from when we were talking through the philosophies, uh, they wanted us to retain possession and play possession football. So, obviously, to go along with that, we're going to be playing control and the team shape fluid, which will allow more players like movement. Like, if it was unstructured, you'd probably see Moreno come up to a bat. Like, you wouldn't really see players like Moreno offering an overlap and stuff like that. Um, but with Fluid it just allows a bit more freedom for the players and they're not as disciplined, uh, mainly positionally, as they would be in the structured. Uh, it says shape, but yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. But anyway, there's instructions. So we've got higher tempo, which I did originally set lower for the possession. But I think you can also keep possession well at a higher tempo. It just probably is a bit more likely that you'll make a mistake. Uh, time wasting, rarely. We're going to be playing fairly wide because we've got good creative players out wide like Sturridge, who 
again you guys might think that's a bit strange but I, I could have done a 4-2-2 two, two attacking mids but we wouldn't have had no width then and that would have been pretty stupid if you ask me uh, we're going slightly higher because obviously we've got Skirtle which could mean that we would drop deeper because of his pace but I think that Sacco kind of offers good cover um, but yeah I just think that this team is capable of holding up a higher line but Aaron with his Arsenal one he put it on deeper because of Murta Saka but I, f I do think that skirtle has got a bit more pace than Murta Saka so I think it's safe if we go on slightly higher closing down sometimes um, if I was doing a Klopp on it would obviously be on much more because Klopp Skagen pressing is very good but yeah um, we've got tighter marking as well which kind of goes in with closing down sticking tight to your mark to your manual marking not your marker the manual marking uh, get stuck in which is kind of good for closing down you're trying to get the ball back we haven't actually done anything on the passing um, play out of defense was the one I was contemplating but I decided not to go with it in the end we've done short passing retain possession you put one and two together there that's short passing is the best for retaining possession we want to be more disciplined so we want to stick to our possession style because that is one of the board philosophies so we're being di disciplined into this style of play and to be honest that's probably what Mourinho was doing at Chelsea hence why Pedro played so well on Saturday um, but yeah we're looking for the overlap so that means the players like the wing backs are going to try and overlap and offer an extra option for the inside forwards and we're working the ball into the box float crosses for Benteke obviously that means I up in the air hence the float so yeah that is all I've done there so now we'll talk about uh, player positions so in goal we've just got a normal goalkeeper in Mignolet you can see that gets the best out of him um, we've got Moreno fullback uh, not attack automatic and Klein up fullback automatic we've got two central defenders on defend uh, so the back four is pretty it's pretty like how do I put it that it's not like the shape's going to be like this it's going to be like this so that probably didn't make no sense but it's going to be like a line and quite structured when defending a bit like Diego Simeone we see when he plays that uh, if you watch your flat game Madrid you see that they've got two banks of four and two that's what I'm aiming to have our defence like when defending just having a bank of four at the back I'm not saying I want them all to stick there because obviously he's going to have to tie a mark so he might end up against their right wing up, a bit higher up but I want it to stick as like I don't want to say structured because that contradicts the team shape but defensively I want the shape to be good that's all I'm saying we've got, then got Henderson who's going to be box to box midfielder so obviously he's going to do his defensive duties and his well, offensive duties we've got Allen who's going to be a ball winning midfielder so basically the way I think of a ball winning midfielder is he's probably one of the players in like one of the roles that's got the most f not freedom but you see him trying to go up the pitch to get the ball back and trying to get drop down the pitch to get the ball back because he wants to win the ball then we've got inside forwards so Sturridge is obviously out at the moment but him, he and Coutinho are going to be doing that so in a way you might think of it as like that because their inside forwards they come in very uh, very central I was going to say narrow but that's not the right word and at points I think of it as like it could end up a bit like this where they're going inside and these are coming outside allowing Firmino being an advanced playmaker to find maybe a pass there he can run up there and cross it in but yeah obviously that's not what the shape was so we're not going to do that um, we'll put it back on inside forward on support if we can click the right options so yeah um, I was contemplating putting it on attack and I was contemplating playing like this but I just don't think that you get enough width and what I would have done is put these as complete wing backs which would have meant most of the time the shape would have been like that which as you can see it clearly doesn't give you that much defensive cover as you need so we didn't go with that in the end um, but yeah I keep on messing around with this um, sorry if you can hear my mouse clicking as well that's why I'm messing around so much with the tactic but yeah um, so yeah that is that but 
I think I might set up a set piece as well for you guys, so I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, I'm not going to do the um, set pieces, but I've set two player instructions. Um, so we've got Skirtle, I've done it for the player only. Um, we got him to close down less because you can see here, his pace is higher than I thought it was, but we just don't want him to get caught out of position and we've actually put for Sacco to close down a bit more. So yeah, um, you, you may want to do that, but this tactic is obviously going to go up on the FM Scout website as they all do so yeah leave your suggestions if i can get the word out down below for the team you want to see us do next and i'll see you guys whenever i do my next video on here but please make sure you check out my channel and all the other content creators channels as well um my link will be in the description and whoever does the video of the other videos their links will be in the description because i also run the same kind of series on my channel but when I do it on my channel, I play through a season and show you the results, so it's not as frequent as it is on the FM Scout channel. So make sure you subscribe here as well. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys when I see you.